Hi, Fred Dawson here with Screenplays Magazine, and we have an opportunity to look at something that is uh, pretty revolutionary, which is, uh, I guess, part magic, part software, and part genius. And for the genius part, we have John Carlucci, who's the CTO of Alticast. John, thanks a lot for taking some time to tell us about what we're uh, going to discover here, which is the HDMI stick that, that, that's and, right, and right. what that means to um, the television uh, services of the future. Uh, why don't you just give us a brief explanation of sure. what this is? Sure, I'm, I'm happy to do that, Fred. Thanks. Um, well, you know, sometimes the big things come in, in small packages. So the HDMI stick is a, a device that fits in the palm of my hand that is a new device for delivering the TV experience. And it's a new classification that takes advantage of mobility, miniaturization, and, and wireless capability. So as you can see in this compact package, it has an HDMI port, so I can just plug it directly into the back of the TV set. And when I do that, it provides the display for the TV set and really does a brain transplant and brings the smart TV and navigation capability contained within this device into the television. So, so let me to show do you. that. To do that, though, you've got to have some kind of connection to the uh, outer world. That's a Wi-Fi uh, antenna in there somewhere. That, that, that's right. This uses a Wi-Fi a capability, and that's how we tie into the, the home network, and that can tie us either to a gateway in the home or all the way back to the cloud. You know, so we're pushing more and more intelligence into the cloud as well as storage. So that allows for the smarts in this device to leverage the compute capability going on in the cloud in order to enhance that user experience and allow the consumer to enjoy new video services. And that's where Alticast comes in. You're doing, you're making all this happen with your software. That's right. Our software, both on the server side as well as on the device side, is, is bringing that, that magic as we move from a, a world that was very centralized to a world that is a distributed uh, computing environment. Also, our consumers are enjoying the experiences not just on the TV, but on many different devices, many different screens. And this would work tablet. on an IP set top as well as a connected TV. Uh, yes, we can bring that intelligence to a variety of, of different devices. Uh, so so I'll, I can plug this into the, the TV uh, via the, the HDMI, but I can also use the USB port to plug into any USB capable device and then take over that screen. Wow. Uh, as well. Let's have a look at Thank you, Fred. Let me show you what's going on on the, the user interface here. So what we've done is taken this HDMI stick and stuck it into the back of this uh, television set, and it brings all the TV smarts of the video service provider experience onto this. In this case, it's our uh, customer uh, in, in Korea's uh, user experience, which is a very interactive uh, experience with rich graphics that's been created in HTML5 JavaScript. Uh, so the, th this application is talking back through the cloud to receive the, all the information that's displayed to the user here. So that really helps us reduce the required complexity that needs to go into this device while providing an extremely satisfying user experience. But not only can this device support the video service provider content, it can also allow the consumer to get to the content provided by either direct-to-consumer video offerings or user-generated content. So in this case, we'll go to, to Netflix and we'll launch a Netflix application. So, so here, it's gone and connected once again across that cloud into the webosphere, and it's bringing that Netflix user experience right onto this device. So from a consumer, they can be enjoying their video service provider content, but they can also uh, be enjoying the direct-to-consumer content that they have access to, all from this extremely compact package. And this compact package uh, can, can go with them. So we can go and plug the USB side of it into their PC, and they can enjoy from the network those same video services on their PC. It can also contain their identity, so there's no login that they have to go through as they go from the device to device. You know, it knows that my name is John, it knows what shows I like, it, know, it can make recommendations, it knows my preferred settings. So there's really a lot of power packed into this, but also it allows this device to tap into the power of the grid computing and, and virtualized server-side systems that we've created. 
So here we'll exit out of the Netflix application, and once again, we drop right back into the video service provider experience. It's really that easy for the consumer to get access to all the different types of content they want to use in this small package. John, thank you for showing this. This is, this is amazing and the speed with which things moved around and the fact you can just channel switch and do everything you can just like it's on a set-top box is, yeah. is a pretty amazing development. So thanks a yeah, lot for sharing Yeah, we're really this. excited about it. Thanks, Fred, for stopping by.